Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at a different operating system. It's Hello System, based on BSD. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel on Patreon, those links are in the description below. If you download Hello System, throw it on a USB, or put it in a virtual machine, and boot up, this is the screen you're met with. What we're going to do really quick is we're going to zip on over to their website, which is hellosystem.github.io slash docs. This is just some information. It just says Hello System is a desktop system for creators with a focus on simplicity, elegance, and usability. Its design follows the less but better philosophy. It is intended as a system for mere mortals, welcoming to switchers from the Mac. FreeBSD is used as the core operating system. And please refer to GitHub for more information if you would like to learn more. And if you scroll down, it has a screenshot right there. We'll go ahead and click next. Getting started, it says you need a 2 gigahertz dual core, 64-bit processor to run, minimum of 4 gigabytes of RAM, VGA compatibility. Please contact us if you'd like to sponsor the project with hardware donation and virtualization environments. And you can run it in Kimu, Parallels, and that's pretty much that. We can go to the next page, getting to know the system, applications. Most applications in the Hello system come in the form of application bundles. An application bundle is an application that looks and behaves like a file, but is actually a directory containing not only the application, but also auxiliary files such as icons and other resources. So basically, this is their version of like snaps or flat packs to where the complete package, or as they call it, bundle, has everything that certain application needs inside that bundle to do everything it needs to do. So let's go ahead and click Next. Hello System uses the OpenZFS for the boot disk. Additionally, the following file systems are supported. XFAT, NTFS, EXT4, HFS+, and XFS. Supported file systems are automatically mounted by auto mount. Awesome. Let's go ahead and click next again and then boot environments you've got a lot of information right here on this page so if you do download this you're going to have a lot of information that'll help you out you get the gist of what's going on here there's a lot of information i will put this website in the description below if you're interested and you can go over and do some reading for yourself but i'm gonna go ahead and close out of this and i want to right click you can create new folder paste select invert selection show hidden Preferences, okay, you open it up here, stretch to fit the entire screen. Wallpaper image is being pulled from local, share, slim, themes, default, background. We're not going to worry about switching the background at present. So that's what you get with a right click. Let's go ahead and close that. You do have a dock down below. Home will probably take you to your home folder, which it does. And then, of course, you've got the global menu up top, file, edit, and then you've got system. You can do about this computer. Hello. It says you're in VirtualBox, FreeBSD 12.2 release, generic kernel, processor, Hello System build. So kind of gives you that Mac feel right there. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And then we'll close out of our home folder. And we've already seen the browser. Let's go to Featherpad. Featherpad is like a little notepad. And you might be able to do some text editing in it as well. I would have to look that up. If you download this and give it a test drive, and you find out, let me know in the comments if you can do text editing with this as well. And then we've got utilities. Let's go ahead and open that up. I like it's a little Swiss Army knife. So utilities, you've got Android file transfer. You've got build notify, calculator, install free BSD, help, hardware probe, create live media, logs, Q terminal. Let's try the terminal and see if there's any kind of top. They do have top installed. So let's see what we're running here. I have issued this machine 4 gigabytes of RAM because it would not boot without 4 gigabytes of RAM. So we're running inactive and wired. We're running about 629 megabytes of RAM at rest. So that isn't too bad. Then you've got your log file. you got utilities. Let's see what's in utilities. And there's nothing in the utilities folder. So I'll go ahead and close out of that. And then you've got preferences. Let's go ahead and open up preferences. You've got your boot environments. Select the environment you would like the computer to start with. No, let's close that. You got desktop, keyboard, mouse, sharing, screen settings, print settings, preferences, shortcut keys, sound, users, wireless networks. So this does have a look like Mac. I am not going to deny you that. So 
what we're going to do is up here to the left, you've got search. So you've got a global search up here. Man, that has a real Apple feel to it. Let's go to system. About this computer, hide all, unhide all applications. We've got Falcon. We've already looked at Featherpad, Lector, and then QPDF Viewer, Applications 3D Printing. You've got FreeCAD, Out of the Box, Prusa Slicer, Ultimaker. Now, are these preloaded or are they going to have to download? So they're listed and pinned, but they have not been downloaded yet. That's why the ISO was only 1.5 gigabytes, so that makes sense. But you can download free CAD if you want to. I'm not going to download that, so we'll go back to system. And then audio, you've got Audacity, LMMS, Developer, Light IDE, Q Hex Edit, QT Creator, Zeal, Developer Preview, Battery, Disk First Aid, Disk Utility. What kind of disk utility does it come with? This application is a preview for developers. It is not fully functional yet. That's fine. So you do have, that's a decent looking. I like the way that looks. Guys, this thing is just screaming, look at me, I'm a Mac. <laughs> Even down to the buttons. So it's got a real clean, nice look to it. I like the light and minimal and just being able to get your work done. So let's close out a disk utility. Let's go back to system. We were on developer preview. Okay. You've got screencast, simple browser, start disk, graphics, blender, GIMP, Inkscape, Krita, Scribus, Scanlight. I'm sure none of these are downloaded. Nope. Okay. So these are pinned. And if you want them, you just go in and click download. I guess if you don't want them, you can just delete the icons if you want to. Go down to Office. LibreOffice Suite is pinned. Preferences, boot environments, desktop, sharing, sounds, utility, Android file transfer, create live media, hardware pro, install, and then video, OBS, Shotcut, that's, they've got those pinned and ready to go. And I think Shotcut's a good choice. I like it. I still use Caden Live, but uh, I have experimented with Shotcut, and it's definitely a decent little video editing tool. So let's close out of that. And then, of course, up top on the right, you have your clock, date, and time. You got your sound, show desktop. You can set a note, toggle activity, show all, reset positions. Hello, preferences, and quit, and then live, and then start volume. This is just a quick look. I think I might install this on one of my extra laptops I have laying around and play with it a little bit. It's it's clean, light. It was only a 1.5 gigabyte download for a live test drive. Tell me what you all think. Is this something you might download, throw on a USB, put in a virtual machine, and give it at least a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Please do me a favor before you leave today. Like, subscribe, or follow my channel. Doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon, those links are in the description below. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.